What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and today I'm gonna box and talk a little bit about the Raspberry Pi B+. Now if you guys don't know what the Raspberry Pi is, it's basically an entire computer all in one little chip. Now the dimensions of this chip is 85 by 56 millimeter. It's a very small chip and it has all the components of a computer all in this one chip. It has a processor and it even has input and outputs. Now let's talk about some of the cool things you can do with the Raspberry Pi. Now with the Raspberry Pi, you can install full-blown Linux. Now you can go to their website, raspberrypi.org and their download section, they have different images you could download and you can save them onto the micro SD card and you're able to run full blown Linux. You use the USB ports to connect a mouse and a keyboard. You use the HDMI port to connect to a monitor. You can use the Ethernet port to connect to the internet or you can even use a USB Wi-Fi adapter to connect to the internet if you like it that way. Now some people are even using the Raspberry Pi as a gaming device. You can play retro games on this thing. The way it works is you go to their website they have an image for a emulator, I think it's MAME or something like it, and you can play all those classic games. You download the ROMs and you play all those classic games. Now some people are even using the Raspberry Pi as a device to control their appliances like their refrigerators, their air conditioners, their lights. They can turn on and off the lights. They can check their temperature in their refrigerator if they want. They can turn on and off the refrigerator. They can turn on and off their air conditioner. They're using this as the brains for all their appliances. And now some people are even making arcades out of this. They're making full-blown arcades and they use the Raspberry Pi as the brains and they're able to play any game that they want. Now my favorite feature of the Raspberry Pi is that you can use this as an educational tool for programming. Now if you have somebody who's interested in programming and they don't want to spend a lot of money, this is the perfect thing. Now you can use this and you can program with this. Now you can use this to program on top of the Linux or you can program directly onto the chip itself. You can create programs, you can even create operating systems. Now this is the perfect educational tool for somebody that wants to learn how to program. Now some people are even creating supercomputers using the Raspberry Pi. They're able to connect the Raspberry Pis to create one giant supercomputer. It's freaking cool. All right, so let's start the unboxing. So this is the bag here. It has the Raspberry Pi B Plus inside. I'm gonna use my handy dandy unboxing knife to cut open the bag here. So let's just cut that open, remove this here, remove the device itself, throw this to the side. All right, so this is the Raspberry Pi box here. As you can see, as a picture of a Raspberry, that's the Raspberry Pi logo right there. It says Model B Plus 512 megabytes. Now if you turn around to the back, it gives you the contents of the box. It says a Raspberry Pi Model B Plus is featuring a 700 megahertz Broadcom BCM2835 CPU with 512 megabytes of RAM, has a 40 pin extended GPIO, has a full size HDMI, four USB 2.0 ports, and a micro SD slot. On the side here is the Raspberry Pi logo, Raspberry Pi, and it says model B plus 512 megabytes. On the other side, it says the same thing. All right, so let's open it up here. Let's open the lid here, and there it is. Now let's remove this. And inside a anti-static bag here is the actual Raspberry Pi unit itself. And as you can see, it's very small. It's again, 85 by 56 millimeters. So it's the size of like two matchbooks basically. And this little chip here is an entire computer system basically. It has all these inputs and outputs. It has a processor and it has RAM. So let's just remove the device from the anti-static bag here. And this is the actual device itself. On this side here, this is the 40 pin GPIO. Now you can use this to do a lot of cool things, which I'm gonna talk more about later on. Basically, you can program other devices like robots and you can pretty much do a lot of cool things. On this side here, you have the four USB 2.0 ports. This is the ethernet port. Over here, you have combined together composite and a 3.5 audio jack here. This is the HDMI out. You will use this to connect directly to the monitor. And over here, this is how you power the device. This is a micro USB port here. And you connect it directly to a micro USB cable, which you power to the wall. And it powers the entire device. Again, this is the 40 pin GPIO. Again, you have the ethernet port. You have four USB 2.0 ports. Now this is the front of the device. This is the processor, this is the RAM. Again, this is an entire computer system that could fit right into your hand. And it's only $35. That's the crazy part about it. And a lot of people are using this to create a lot of cool things. All right, so in this video, I'm, I'm just unboxing and talking a little bit about the device. I'm gonna do future videos where I show you all the cool things, all the cool things you could do with the device. All right, so here, this is a case for the Raspberry Pi B+. It doesn't come with the device, but it's only like $5. And I'm gonna leave a link to this case in my description. It's an Amazon link. And if you're gonna get one of these devices, you should get one of these uh, enclosures because it will protect the device and it's only $5, so it's really inexpensive. And it looks pretty cool and it's clear so you can see the device right through the case. Now, if you guys already have a micro USB cable at home, the same one that would power your micro USB phone, it should power the device no problem. 
Now, if you want to get another one, this one's like a dollar. And the cable I got for like $2, I can leave the link to those cables in my description. They don't come with the device, but you will need it to power the device. All right, so now I'm going to put the plastic cover onto the device itself. Again, this doesn't come with a device. I paid $5 for this, but I'm going to leave a link to something like this in the description. It's like $5. All their cases are about $5. They're not really that expensive. I'm going to pop open this lid here. I'm going to uh, place this part here and this should fit into here. And now this part should go over this part here. And just pop her in and that's it. Again, this case was only $5 and if you're gonna buy one of these, you should invest in a case. All right guys, if you're interested in picking up the Raspberry Pi for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link. It's an Amazon link, it's in the description. I'm gonna also leave links to all the accessories you will need. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RossmarTech.com and thanks for watching.